we are bringing the field service mobile app, uh, which is the uh, a power apps, uh, you know, based model driven app uh, to Windows 2. This has been, uh, uh, you know, an ask which, you know, we have been getting from customers uh, for long and uh, this application will be coming as a public preview on uh, 1st of October as part of our uh, wave to release. Um, so I'll I'll just, you know, kind of uh, dig right into and, and give you a short, uh, you know, kind of uh, peek into, you know, what this app can do, right? So one of the first things that I would want to kind of highlight is, uh, you know, you obviously, uh, uh, you know, get a field service dynamics uh, uh, 365 uh, branded app. And uh, from 1st of October, you'll be able to get it from the Microsoft Store, right? And this app is completely, uh, uh, you know, this supports offline. So this is uh, offline by default. Uh, and this is, you know, one of the most important uh, features, uh, use cases for our customers. So basically what this uh, app will allow you, allow the technicians to do is they'll be able to work on the app even when, you know, they are in a low, or no connectivity uh, area, right? So this this is the offline status. Uh, this gives you data about you know how many tables have synced, uh, you know how many files have synced, and you can uh, the the uh, technician can also you know force update uh, uh, you know a sync with the server anytime they want by clicking here. So if I click on this, you'll see that the downloading user data starts uh, uh, to download, and then you know if if there's any extra data on the server, etc., that will get uh, synced. So, uh, you know, once that is done, you see that this says, you know, offline data update is completed, right? So I've, I've uh, let's, let's, you know, uh, suppose if I'm a technician, I've, uh, you know, went to, uh, you know, service uh, a coffee machine at, you know, one of our uh, clients, uh, which is say Contoso Coffee. So I see that, you know, on Monday, September the 20th uh, morning, 8 a.m., this is my booking. So I basically click on this, and uh, you know I'll be able to change the status. So if I'm traveling, I can change change the status to traveling and uh, uh, save the booking, right? Now when I reach the uh, uh, place, I can also you know uh, put it as in progress, and you know obviously uh, uh, you know save. Uh, one of the uh, you know new features that uh, we are we are adding uh, uh, with this public preview is you we are uh, allowing device camera access. So if the user wants to, you know, click a picture of the coffee machine or any other machine and attach it to the timeline, they can do that. So, you know, the user basically goes to the timeline, uh, you know, they will click on uh, the camera and this will basically launch the uh, device camera, as you can see. And I'll just take this picture of this um, uh, astronaut light that I have. And when I click on it, you'll see that it gets added as an attachment. And then, you know, I can put uh, any, any, you know, uh, heading that I want to want, uh, want to add, right? So, and then I can add the uh, note. So this will basically get added to the timeline. Um, you can also, if the user want, they can also record a video by clicking on the video uh, button. Now I'll just save this booking and, uh, uh, you know, I'll go back uh, to the home page. Uh, so there's another thing that I wanted to kind of highlight is uh, this uh, public preview also allows for barcode scanning, which again is a very, uh, you know, kind of key, uh, uh, you know, uh, use case uh, feature for most of our customers. So if I suppose go to this, uh, um, account, right? You'll see that there's a field called barcode. So I've configured it to be able to read barcodes. So if I click on this, you'll again see that it will basically uh, trigger the device camera and uh, it was actually really fast, but I had a, 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 you know, barcode generated on my mobile phone for the number 798 and it basically uh, filled that field with that number, right? So again, you can, you'll be able to save this, um, and you know, so so this is like a you know normal or a general uh, you know like uh, the activities or or the things that a technician would do. A uh, few other things uh, which I would want to kind of just quickly mention is uh, that this also supports deep linking into the application. So if you are using another app that has a link to this application, you will be able to open that particular entity or entity record page using those deep links. Um, 
because this is public preview, there are certain items which are also not available in this version as of now, but they are there in the backlog. I would want to highlight uh, a few of them. Uh, so first is this uh, app or this app version will not support large file and images right uh, above uh, 16 MBs of size 16 MB size. Second, uh, this will not uh, support quick notes control. Uh, uh, third, this will not support push notifications and fourth, this will not support geo tracking of technicians. So these are few of the things that you know I, I wanted to highlight in this demo. Uh, we'll obviously come uh, with a more detailed documentation also along with that.